Yes. Mm. For real? Mm hmm. No, 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 no. I. Yes, it's small. All right. Bye bye. It's bright. It's lightweight. A lot of features. It's not a phone. It's an external monitor. The Podkeys P6 4K HDMI monitor. That's what's up. Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please do consider to subscribe. This is where I share my opinions in relation to gear or anything tech related to be a specific video, sound or anything to do with filming. So today we are looking at a very, very interesting um, external monitor that helps you um, look at, you know, monitor whatever you're filming. And it's very, very small. That's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest deal of this monitor because it's very, very small. It it's almost size of a phone. If you look at my phone, they're almost the same size. Actually, my phone is even way bigger. Um, so many interesting things about this monitor because one, it's lightweight, very portable, and you have various options of powering it. I'm not gonna go into details of everything that this monitor does. I could go over a few very important things like a few of those menu highlighting key menu features that are very, very important. Um, mounting options and a bit of the accessories that come with this monitor. So speaking of accessories that come along with this monitor, this, it's interesting that it comes with two HDMI cable. One is micro HDMI to HDMI or one, the other one is full HDMI to full HDMI, depending on what camera you're going to be using. It have this very interesting mounting bracket, which I don't really like, but for those that are fans of the mounting bracket, you got this option um, and it has a sunshade as well in case you go outdoor. Some monitors come with no sunshades, but this one is 500 nits. And with 500 nits on the inside, indoor, you cannot go wrong. But if you go outside, you're going to need the port keys uh, sunshade that would help you see whatever you're filming. So without further ado, let's break it down, see how it works. is what it looks like with a sunshade if you do intend to record outdoor ah should be all set with this so having a sunshade come along is huge it's key because that way you're able to see what you're filming in broad daylight and this kind of cuts off the a huge amount of sunshine of course you could still, still there's a bit of reflection just so you know but it's better than without it's better than not having um it's better than not having a sunshade at all so i'm briefly going to be going through the menu system and tapping out those few features that make this monitor stand out so let, let's get into the menu so the menu um you can always customize uh, the first button, second, you have up to four buttons to customize. It's contrasty, it's well calibrated, I would say. Not the best out there, but I would say it's, it looks good. So like I said, when it comes to the function buttons, depending on whatever you assign, you can always dig deep into it and make necessary adjustments. For example, F2 is assigned to peaking, but if I want to get into details of how to adjust my peaking, I just press F2 for like three seconds, boom, and it brings up a sad menu. False color, if you like using false color, they have that. So the histogram looks like that, and you can always change the way it looks. So having a waveform to me, this is a huge plus for such a monitor. If you want, you can always change it to RGB. Um, RGB is mostly for uh, white balance, I would say. If you do intend to uh, make movements through the menu, the plus and minus are the up and down. The brightness is usually called the backlight. So you can always go, you know, uh, you can always go middle, 
if you are in a very dark uh, space and you don't need that bright of a monitor you can always go middle or you could always go lower middle and high you have those options you can always load lights on this bad boy it comes with inbuilt lights that's a good thing you see all those are inbuilt lights function setup you can always this is where you 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 um that's where you assign uh the four function buttons depending on what option you want to have a quick access to so that's where you find that firmware you can always upgrade from there and that's all with the menu so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the mounting options that you have for this monitor. This is a very uh, handy mounting option. There should be a link in the description. There's actually an option to tilt and pan. You can tilt and pan with this mount here. The other option is this by small rig. I think there's more flexibility in this one than this one. I would say, I mean, it still goes back to how you prefer to position your monitor, you know? At least somebody has this in their toolbox or in their bag somewhere. And this one, I would say I'm not a fan. I used to be a fan, but not a fan anymore. Well, you could still shape it in any way, bend it wherever or however, or upside down or whatever. But I mean, it's just too big in my opinion uh these three should work really 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 well did i hear something click it's plastic actually so it's time for the packs possible ask questions so if you are just getting to video and you need a small, portable, lightweight, affordable, under $200 monitor, this is for you. You don't have to get all the mounting options that I showed you. You can just get one of those depending on how you shoot. This is not the only pot keys option out there. There's other various ones. They're like the BM5, which I really recommend. It's just a little too pricey. There's the LH5, which is also affordable and tons of other pot keys options. So. All right, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. If you like this kind of content, Please share the video, like the video, comment, and please do subscribe. Thank you for watching.